One of the things that you mentioned a few minutes ago is the magic of the internet. Um, people, people who know uh, and who follow medical advances and who have relatively desperate diseases, and I would dare say that a lot of people who have cancer think it's a desperate disease, will use information from multiple sources. And now there's people that have chat rooms uh, that have specific diseases, and the information that gets shared, and I can probably give one sort of dramatic example. One of the success stories that's unfolding in lung cancer is a specific genetic change called an EML4 elk translocation. What that means is that we have 23 chromosomes, that's their packages of genetic material. And one of the things in cancer is sometimes those chromosomes or packages of genetic material break and rearrange, which is what's called the chromosomal translocation. Is that it was discovered about uh, three years ago that there's a breaking and rearrangement of it, and this happens to be on the second chromosome. And it activates something called anaplastic lymphoma kinase, or ELK. When that happens, um, and there's medicines against ELK, so it went in one year from having that discovery of this, this chromosomal translocation, this genetic treatment, to developing a test so you could pick it up, to having a medicine that was effective so that about 70% of people who have this genetic change, their tumor will shrink by more than half. So as I said before, it took about a year till you had the first index case, and now the first trial by the middle of 2009, they treated about 30 or 40 people with this particular abnormality. And once again, about 70% of the people's tumors shrink by more than half, and it stays away for between six months to a year on average. Now when this happened, um, the word gets out amongst lung cancer patients. We, our typical treatment only works, shrink, causes things to shrink by more than half about 10% of the time. Once again, this is one of these targeted therapies. This gets out there and people want to have this test and people contact you from all over the country to find it. So last week I had somebody that came from Pennsylvania to specifically get their tumor biopsy so they could find out if they had this genetic change to be able to find out. So people find it out. And it's our intent to make sure that people have that information available to do it. The other part that is helping is that there are things called patient advocates. These are people who have learned about the advances in lung cancer and make it their point to have this information available on websites so that people can use it. And lastly is that the other place where people can go to a relatively authoritative source is um, is the one run by the American Society of Clinical Oncology. It's cancer.net, which goes through the treatment information that people have available. So that's how people can learn about it.